Welcome to my digital crib. Here we are in beautiful Croyd. The sun is shining, sunsets are fantastic. It's the ideal place to live. I moved down to Croyd about four years ago, um, really to just get into the beach lifestyle and to move away from the corporate uh, um, way of life. It's just much more relaxed here, much more friendly. But when I moved down here, they introduced broadband into, into Croyd, into the exchange here, and that allowed me to be able to access my um, server back up in Bristol, my office there, where I run a team of 35 guys, and, and also able to control my business here. We run a little uh, bed and breakfast and surf lodge and a cafe here. One of the very handy things with the technologies available at the moment, the webcam is way up the top of the garden up there somewhere, so that's a heck of a long way to um, bring a cable down. So what we do, we actually use a, a wireless link. And yeah, that can be controlled from anywhere really. Um, it's got it's a, a PTZ um, pan, tilt and zoom, so you can zoom right in onto things and you can monitor anything going in the garden, so it doubles up as a security camera as well really. When I went on trips in the States, and I, so I got some Herodian sheep here, and I was in the States at lambing time, so I could actually zoom the camera right down to the field and count the lambs as they came sort of thing. So that's quite useful to make sure that there are no issues from there. So it's almost shepherding across the world. One of the key ingredients to allow me to live this lifestyle and still control my business is, is the access to my information, so basically my computers, my server in Bristol, and my server here. So I can use laptops such as this uh, to hook up to any internet cafe anywhere, and using things like terminal server, I can get onto my um, machine in Bristol. I'm using, uh, I use a, a product called uh, Go to My PC to get into Croyd here. It's quite useful. Um, and you can do it pretty much anywhere in the world. Uh, I did an Indonesia trip recently, and uh, on the boat they had a satcom phone. And so we were able to hook up and get emails down and, and carry on that kind of business. And actually on the island, uh, it was quite bizarre really, because there's a very basic setup there. So they had to go out into a shed in the garden, start the generator, fire that up, turn all the computers on, get the satellite dish going, and then I could actually hook into Bristol and do my work, and com communicate with my team, uh, do the invoicing and the, and the billing and the paying and all that kind of thing from some little island in the middle of the Indian Ocean. So even in the middle of it on a surf trip, everybody thinks I'm still in the office and I'm, I'm nowhere like it. I'm having a great time surfing somewhere. I want to do my various trips and um, obviously I hang around a lot of surfers that want to be videoed so I use just a, a high definition video camera, nothing very flash but it's very good. It's, uh, you can, it's got a hard, a hard disc in it so you can just film away as much as you want, probably about 20 hours worth of videoing on it. Just download it onto the computer, get it straight out on the internet and it's there in no time at all. I know a lot of the guys put their portfolio together ready for their sponsors whilst they're on the trip and then put it up on the web and the sponsor can take it straight down. Most of the time I'm working in the cafe and it's pretty good that I can actually do my other job whilst serving in the cafe when you get those quiet phases and there's nobody around and it rains or whatever. I can sit there and do my work and, uh, and when somebody else comes in to, to be served in the cafe I can just drop that and go straight in cafe mode. The till is basically a, a PC, it doesn't look like one but it is a PC and that's linked into another PC up there which is the main server and it's that that I link into generally. I look at the, uh, the hours that the staff have worked, I can see what sales we've made, how much we've done that day, that kind of thing, so I can do that pretty much from anywhere. All the keyboards and uh, the mice are all wireless, um, because obviously you can do it from anywhere in the cafe really, so you have to be able to, to move around. And we get a very wide variety of, of customers in the cafe and the B&B for that matter, but almost all the people that come in that will use the technology to one degree or another. And they check the surf out on our webcam, uh, once they're here, um, I have had actually people sat in the cafe checking the surf on our own beach instead of looking out the window. I'm not really a, a great gamer. My kids do though. Uh, they love it. They've, they've got just a PS2 down in the, the lounge. And the, the eye toys, they're a big thing and uh, that, that's pretty good. Probably my favourite uh, things are the big screens because they're so cheap now. Um, so we've got a 40 inch one in the cafe, so you can watch big movies, and a high definition one in the, in the house, uh, 50 inch. Um, it's got free sat on it, so you can actually hook up using a normal Sky um, satellite dish and get free HD movies and stuff on it. So it's, that's pretty cool, I like that. But so many people, when they come down here, just talk about it, they're so envious about the lifestyle and the rest of it and get out of it. And of course, it's open to everybody, but. Uh, it is quite hard, obviously, finding the property is, is the most important, but the technology allows you to live anywhere now, really. Um, people are still nervous about it, um, getting up and doing it, but, uh, but it, it is quite possible. <laughs>